OMG, it is already September. How fast time flies! Can you believe it? Because I can't. How are you all doing? I'm good. I'm a little bit sad because the beautiful summer in Vancouver is almost over and a little bit I feel a little bit unsettled because there are only four months left in 2020. But I'm still well and healthy, so I'm good. All good. It's Sunday, September 6, 2020. Uh, it's a long weekend, three days off, as tomorrow is a Labor Day. It's a national holiday. Yay! I have a Monday off. Um, Today I wanted to study a little bit about Labor Day um, and share with you because um, yeah, I've never uh, learned anything about the history, history or origins of it. Let's see. Um, okay. Okay, according to Wikipedia, Labor Day is an annual holiday to celebrate the achievements of workers. Labor Day has been celebrated in Canada on the first Monday in September since the 1880s. The origin of Labor Day in Canada can be traced back to December 1872 when a parade was staged in support of the Toronto Typographical, Typographical Union's strike for a 58-hour work week. Oh, 58, that's a lot. Uh, almost a full decade before a similar event in New York City by the American Knights of Labor, a late 19th century U.S. Labor Federation launched the movement, movement toward the American Labor Day holiday. Mm -hmm. I see. The Toronto Trades and Labor Council held similar celebrations every spring. American Peter J. McGuire, co-founder of the American Federation of Labor, was asked to speak at the Labor Festival in Toronto, Ontario, Canada on July 22, 1882. The returning to the United States, Mark Guire and the Knights of Labor organized a similar parade based on the Canadian event on September 5, 1882 in New York City, USA. And then 1894, Canadian Prime Minister John Thompson and his government made Labor Day to be held in September an official holiday. Hmm. So since 1894 in Canada, um, the Labor Day has been a national holiday. So it is celebrated internationally. Uh, yeah, many countries have sort of Labor Day even if it's a different day. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they celebrate Labor Day in a different form on a different day, but in North America, at least, um, United States and Canada, they celebrate the first Monday of September every year. Okay, I wanted to share a little bit about Japanese Labor Day too. In Japan, uh, we call it Labor Thanksgiving Day. So, Kinlo Kansha no Hi. Um, yeah, it's translated as a Labor Thanksgiving Day. So, it's the day to celebrate and honor and um, the other works, um, other works citizens do. Uh, let's see, um, let's search a little bit about it. Kinlo Kansha no Hi. Uh, Wikipedia. Ni Yoruto, Kinlo Kansha no Hi. Ni Hon no Kokumin no Shikudit no Hitotia. His 
1948年昭和23年に甲府施行され制定された。So, Labor Thanksgiving Day in Japan uh, uh, it's originated in 1948, so post war.、Uh, on November,、uh, November 23rd, it's set on November 23rd.、Uh, it's not like a first Monday of which month, it's just it's set on November 23rd in any year.、Um, yeah, that's the Japanese Labor Thanksgiving Day. According to Wikipedia, many countries celebrate Labor Day in May as a May Day. Okay,、uh, the Canadian Labor Day,、um, it says on Wikipedia that while Labor Day parades and then picnics are organized by unions, many Canadians regard Labor Day as the Monday of the last long weekend of summer. I see that, I really see that. Yeah, school is starting this week. So, yeah, that makes sense.、Uh, non union、uh, non-union celebrations include picnics, fireworks, display, fireworks displays, water activities, and public art events. Since the new school year generally starts right after the Labor Day, families with school age children take it as a last chance to travel before the end of the summer. Yes. Schools, a lot of schools are starting this week.、Um, yeah, so this is last long weekend of summer, I feel. Yes,、yeah, summer is almost over. Anyway, so that was about Labor Day. And today I also wanted to set a goals for September. Um, I usually set monthly goals, and today I thought I wanted to, yeah, I thought I want to share with you in this video.、Um, I know it's already like six, so a week has passed in September already, but、um, I still have three weeks to go, and then I wanted to set the goals that I can achieve. And let's see. <laughs> okay. Goals in September. First, I want to eat healthy. As you might have been aware, I've been getting a lot of pimples on my forehead and it doesn't seem to disappear.、Um, yeah, I think I need to eat more healthy stuff, I guess. Past few weeks, I've been eating like a Oily food, frozen food, something like that. Maybe I should eat, I, maybe I should get back to like my cooking routine and eat more healthy. Yeah, I will include that in my goal. And I also want to sleep well. I mean, basically, take care of myself well. Take good care of myself because when, season, when seasons change, Um, it's end of summer and autumn is coming. Like, my body t e n d to need, I mean, like, my body needs to adjust well to, like, you know, the change in temperature and climate, and also, yeah, in general, I need to adjust well. And yeah, I tend to get sick during this kind of change. <laughs> so, yeah, I just need to take good care of myself, eat healthy, sleep well. And what else I can do? Mm.、Um, learn a new word in Chinese every day? Yeah, I can do that. So by the end of this month, I should have、um, more like 20 plus vocabularies that I can use in sentences, hopefully. Let me write this down. Okay. Let's see what else I can do. <laughs> I can work out. Maybe 30 minutes work out. Not every day, but maybe three times a week. 
I don't think I can do every day, but I think I can do three times a week. And then lastly, and then most importantly, I will upload weekly video on YouTube. Yeah, I will write it down. Yeah, I'll do that. I managed to do that in August and I think I can continue doing that. I wish I could do more often. I wish I could upload more often, but yeah, I'm just still getting used to editing and it takes a lot of time. Um, and then, yeah, weekly is good so far, so good. I mean, like, weekly is good for now. Uh, and I will, I will promise that I will post weekly video. Yeah, I think that's good for September. Um, I want to make sure that these goals are achievable. I want to make sure it's feasible. So I don't want to set too many goals that I can't achieve. So I think this is good. Eat well, sleep well, learn a new Chinese word every day, 30 minutes workout three times a week, and weekly video on YouTube. So that's the, my that's my September goals. Okay, so that was my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I got to learn about Labor Day and I also managed to set the goals for this month. And thank you for watching. I'm glad that I shared that with you. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye bye.